Welcome to this module's learning guide. This module will look at expectations of online learning, characteristics of successful online students, and strategies for succeeding in online courses. Defining online learning. Online learning can be defined in a number of different ways. There's no one clear definition. It can be called distance education, e-learning, or even digital learning. Distance education is defined by the United States Distance Learning Association as an education program whereby students may complete all or part of an educational program in a geographical location apart from the institution hosting the program. The final award given is equivalent in standard and content to an award program completed on campus. What this means is that the learning experience can be enhanced by utilizing websites, email, chat rooms, forums, and many other technologies that create learning communities through the use of the internet and a computer. Learning may take place in a traditional classroom, at home, at a public library, or even a coffee, coffee shop. The credits a student would earn for completing the coursework would be the same as if they had attended a tr traditional classroom. Online learning can also be blended or hybrid. Blended or hybrid learning combines both face-to-face -face time in the standard classroom and activities online. It could be the traditional face-to-face -face classroom combined with online technology, or it could be a course that meets once a week face-to-face -face and also completes online activities on a scheduled basis. A learning management system, or LMS, Moodle here at Regis, the place you are currently reading this information or watching this video, might be used as a vehicle for hosting course materials and a space for student interaction. Course materials would be posted here and students would have access to them. Sometimes student tracking and grading can be done through the LMS. In Module 4 you'll be given the opportunity to gain more familiarity with Moodle. Online learning activities may be synchronous or asynchronous. Synchronous activities would be at a scheduled time with students and or faculty meeting in a live web conference or a chat room. Asynchronous activities do not have a scheduled meeting time and the student would decide the time and place where they would access course content and complete assignments. There are still due dates for assignments, but students can choose when to complete the assignment before the due date. Regis College offers both online and hybrid courses. This course, Online Learning 101, is designed to help prepare students that are entirely taught online or hybrid at this college. Deciding if online learning is for you. Are you looking for flexibility and convenience in your educational pursuits? Do you have constraints on your time and ability to physically attend college? Are the courses you want to take available in a place or time that meets your needs? All of these factors can be influence your decision to pursue an online education. Online learning offers students the ability to learn in new ways and gives the student flexibility in the way to do it. Taking an online course will entail a high level of interaction, but not in the traditional way. You will need to be an active participant, be willing to share your educational experiences, and to reflect upon the information that is distributed by both the instructor and the students. You will need time management skills and organizational skills. Even though the course is online, there will be due dates and requirements that you will need to meet. There are many things to consider before taking an online course. Ask yourself these questions and decide if online learning is for you. Are you an independent learner? Are you self-motivated, self-disciplined, and organized? Do you have daily access to a computer in the internet? Are you comfortable with new technology in using a computer? Do you have computer technical skills that include email, sending attachments, and word processing? Are you willing to dedicate 9 to 12 hours per week per a 15-week, 3-credit course to participate in the learning experience? Are you comfortable with communicating through writing? Would you be comfortable contacting your instructor if you did not understand a concept? Can you use critical thinking and decision making in thoughtful, meaningful ways through your online learning process? Are you willing to engage other students? Participating and showing up. Online learning does not mean you are on your own. There will be other students and instructors in the course, the same as in a traditional classroom. 
However, in order to have the class be interesting and engaging, it will be extremely important to participate with others in the course. This could be through the use of a discussion board, a chat room, or even mail. Be prepared to visit the virtual classroom regularly throughout each week. There will be announcements that will provide you with important information. You will need to be familiar with your syllabus in the flow of your course with various deadlines and materials to be covered in specific time frames. Each course will state what is expected of you, when assignments are due, and when new sections of the course begin and end. There will be specific deadlines for activities and assignments. Often, in the case of discussion boards, you will be required to create a thread and initial response about a specific topic in the first half of the week and be required to reply to, fellow, to a fellow student's post later in the week. It is very important to participate and meet those deadlines. You will be responsible with keeping up to date with assignments, so the exchange of ideas and thoughts will be informative and effective. Netiquette. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary describes the word etiquette as the conduct or procedure required by good breeding or prescribed by authority to be observed in social or official life. When you combine that word with the word internet, you get netiquette. In the case of an online course, netiquette is the conduct to be observed when participating in an online environment. With proper netiquette, you should keep your writing to the topic being discussed, read your assignments thoroughly and give careful consideration on how to respond, review what you have written, making sure it is respectful of others and their opinions, avoid language that is offensive, avoid inappropriate material, and do not be frivolous. Planning and scheduling. It is extremely important to plan for your online learning. It is your responsibility in an online course to make a time commitment for your coursework. Remember the time you will spend in an online environment will be equivalent to the time you would spend in an on-site traditional 15-week course, typically 9 to 12 hours a week. It will also be very important to establish a plan on how to manage the course and to be organized. Decide how many hours you will need to dedicate to the course and reserve the time for that purpose. Plan a minimum of 9 to 12 hours per week for a 3 credit course that meets for 15 weeks. Keep in mind that the time needed for each course week grows significantly if you are taking a 5 week, 6 week, or 12 week course. Treat an online or hybrid course like a regular classroom course. Expect the same amount of classwork. Make sure you have, a prop, you have the proper technology equipment, computer and internet. Predetermine a study area. An online course requires a lot of independent studying to not fall behind. Read the syllabus, print it out, study it, and note the due dates. Schedule consistent times during the week, every week, to study and do your coursework. Stay caught up. Keep up with the readings, activities, and assignments and discussion forms. Log into your course often and be an active participant. And most importantly, stay in touch with your instructor. Do not hesitate to communicate with your instructor if you have questions or are having difficulty. Where to from here? Watch the video, What It Takes to Be a Successful Online Student. This video Tip, provides tips and feedback from different students about their experience with online learning. Be sure to listen to the different strategies they employ in order to complete a course. Read Succeeding in an Online Course. Visit the Distance Learner's Guide to Regis College. This Distance Learner's Guide to Regis College Library is a resource from the library that can help students better understand information in the digital age and accessing the digital resources made available through the library. It is recommended that you visit this page and explore it a bit and possibly bookmark it as you may find it useful in your courses. Because online and hybrid courses have you engaging with much more online content, it is important to have a good primer on how to best navigate it. Module 1, Learning Activity, is Online Learning for Me quiz. This quiz is composed of 10 questions to help you evaluate whether online learning is right for you. Regardless of your score, it will provide good feedback about what you can do to improve your success in online learning. The quiz uses the Moodle assessment tool, which is used by many instructors for quizzes and tests in the online courses. 
This activity will allow you to become familiar with this common tool and to check to see if you experience any technical issues with taking a quiz or test in Moodle. Helpful resources for online students. Some great materials to read and keep on hand as you plan to complete your first online or hybrid course. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.